Here we have the Lenovo E595, a laptop that's almost 30 years old. And today we're going to find out if it's any good or an antiquated piece of crap. So for starters, it wasn't a joke. The Lenovo ThinkPad comes with some pretty awesome history. It was designed almost 30 years ago by a man named Richard Saper, Sapper, Saper, and was then further produced in the Yamato facility of Japan's IBM to create what is known as one of the most iconic laptops of the day. In fact, this is probably one of the only laptops that maintains effectively the same look and design theory uh, over the course of its 30 year history than any other machine on the market today. Now, if that's not pedigree, I don't know what is. Now, obviously, in the last 30 years, the uh, ThinkPad has undergone not only uh, brand changes from IBM to Lenovo, but it's also, of course, undergone some major improvements on its materials and its hardware specs. For starters, it has a 15.6 inch full high definition, non-touch, IPS, uh, very good viewing angle screen, 250 nit brightness, basically meaning that you could probably take this thing outside in a brightly sunny lit day and have no problems at all seeing it while you're either typing away on your office or college campus. This particular model is equipped with the Ryzen 5 processor and eight gigabytes of RAM. You can option this thing with the Ryzen 3 all the way up to the Ryzen 7 CPUs and option it up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And the awesome thing is, is that the RAM is expandable. This one also has a 256 gigabyte solid state drive NVMe, which of course is upgradable to 512, one terabyte, two terabyte, basically any NVMe that you can find, but it is user expandable as well. And everything about this laptop just feels kind of good. The top part is made out of a aluminum finish. The rest of it is made out of a very robust plastics. And that's pretty much the selling point of this ThinkPad series. It is meant for students or businessmen that are willing to take this thing and throw it in a bag and uh, take it in and out of airports and just sort of abuse their laptop. And it's going to hold up well. They are an outstanding laptop with great reliability. And frankly, I even find the aesthetic to be pretty cool. Apparently, the ThinkPad was designed to look like a Japanese bento box or maybe even a cigar box. And um, I'm not really sure that it looks looks like either of those two things, but it has maintained its kind of boxy, minimalist feel. And I really love the way this thing looks. And in fact, I do think that this is probably the best looking laptop, uh, aside from maybe the MacBook Pro 16 inch, but uh, it is just a beautiful, kind of neat, classic looking machine. And maybe that's why I like it, is just because it's a classic look. Now let's talk about input on the Lenovo E595. It has fantastic trackpad and fantastic keyboard. Now the keyboard, now even though they've uh, undergone changes to the chiclet style keyboard, the keys on the ThinkPad series have always remained not only kind of unchanged in terms of feel, but some of the best that you can type on. You won't have a lot of typos on these things. They're full size keys. You've got the numpad on the right side. They are backlit. Uh, they just feel good to type on. Uh, it used to be that they had a little light built into the top monitor here that shined down on the light, but of course Lenovo has gone up to date a little bit. It has a huge trackpad that's accurate and doesn't ghost at all. And if you still want, I don't know why Lenovo was still including this, they do still have the tracking nipple on it where uh, if you decide that you don't want to use a trackpad but you want to use the little sort of kind of red nipple thing to move the mouse around the screen, you certainly could. Although I don't see how that necessarily improves your experience over a trackpad. And in fact, I kind of wish Lenovo stopped producing laptops with that. We often find that these nipples after a while will eventually kind of wear out and you have to uh, disable them uh, anyway because they're gonna start tracking along the screen even when you're not touching it because it's you know either stuck in some direction or another. But that said, the rest of the laptop is just all around great quality. It's got a nice quality panel. The matte screen allows for very vivid, beautiful colors and uh, again, very bright. It has great input and output. On this side, you've got a micro SD uh, camera card. You've got USB regular, and then you've got a, an ether, gigabit ethernet jack. And then of course, Kensington lock because everybody uses that. And then on the other side, you have USB-C, HDMI, two USB super speeds, and a combo headphone microphone jack. So as far as input and output is concerned, this thing is pretty much packed to the brim and has every little port on it that you may want in your laptop, and you don't even need to carry around any dongles. It has great battery life. You could probably expect with practical usage uh, to get maybe around nine hours or so. Lenovo claims it'll get about 10, 10 and a half thereabouts. 
And then in terms of graphic processing, these things come with the Vega series processors. And I believe that you can get either the Vega 3, 8, or 10, depending on how you want to configure the machine. So while this isn't really a gaming computer, if you equip it with a high enough CPU and GPU, you could certainly do quite a bit of gaming on this thing if you wanted to. You could probably play like Fortnite, uh, maybe even play some AAA titles at uh, some maybe like medium settings. Um, so yeah, it's not a gaming laptop, but you could do some gaming with it. You can do video editing on this thing. You can do audio processing on this thing. Uh, all, this is just an all around user's laptop. And again, this is gonna be something for, this is like a Swiss army knife of laptops. Great for students, great for businessmen, great for accountants because it's got the, the uh, numpad on the right side here. And frankly, the price isn't too bad either. This particular one was equipped at around, I think, $749. And they make their way into the thousands of dollar range, but probably about $1,500, $1,600, depending on how you want to equip the thing. But by all accounts, the value on this computer is very, very good. So I think if you're a nonprofit looking for just a robust laptop that's going to last a while, then this is probably one of your best choices. And they do make a wide range of the ThinkPad laptops. This one is the 15 inch one, but they also have a 13.3 and a 14 inch model as well. And truth be told, if I were buying a laptop right now for the Windows world, I think that I would buy the ThinkPad series. Lenovo's had a little bit of a shaky uh, last couple of years with their reliability. The Yoga series has not been one of the most reliable players, uh, although it's a very good and very innovative laptop. But this thing is just a tried and true platform. And uh, if you're looking for something that's gonna last a long time, Time and allow you to expand upon its insides uh, when, whenever you so choose, uh, then this is going to be a fantastic laptop for you. And if 15.6 inches is just a little bit too big, then you can get the carbon and smaller version. They do make a carbon uh, version of this laptop as well if you want to get the materials that are a little bit lighter. But you know, this thing really isn't all that heavy on its own. It is certainly lighter than the previous generation models regardless. In fact, I believe that this thing is clocking in somewhere around the four and a half pound range. Maybe they should call it a gram. A couple of other things to mention is that the webcam quality is 720p and it's decent enough. You could certainly do Zoom, Skype, or Microsoft Teams, any of that kind of stuff on it. And here is an example of what that quality looks like now. This is the camera quality you can expect out of the Lenovo ThinkPad E595. Most of the models come with wireless AC as well as Bluetooth 5.0, so it's very well equipped for a digital wireless age. And it comes with dual microphones at the top so you can record your latest album with it. Another kind of cool thing is that when you have the lid of the laptop open on the outside next to the ThinkPad, there's a little red dot above the eye, and I just think that's kind of a cool, neat touch. It lets people know that you're working away hard on your Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. If I had to say there was any one disappointing feature of the Lenovo ThinkPad, it is probably the speakers. Uh, they're, they get decently loud and there is okay reproduction in the uh, highs and the mids, but the lows, of course, they don't really have any. Uh, so I think that they could have concentrated a little bit harder on the speaker quality. They are Dolby surround sound, but you know, that's kind of every, every manufacturer claims they've got either Beats by Dre or Dolby surround and really the quality isn't that good. And, and the same can be said about the uh, this ThinkPad. The, the sound quality is sort of a little bit disappointing. It's no worse than uh, most of the other laptops on the market. But if you are an audiophile, you will certainly want to get yourself a nice set of headphones. That said, all around, the Lenovo ThinkPad E595 is a fantastic 15.6 inch laptop, and I would highly recommend buying one if you're in the market for a new machine. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach down to us in to feel free to reach out to us in the comment section down below.